Hey guys, welcome to the Salty Strike Session channel. And today, uh, we are going to replace a float switch for the bilge pump. Uh, last time I asked you guys if you wanted me to start making videos when I do little repairs and fixes on the boat and stuff. So, you, most of you said yes, so that's what we're doing today. All right, so I was on a trip, a uh, fishing trip uh, recently, and I kept hearing a, a motor running. I thought, man, it was, it was, it, it sounded different than my live well motor. And uh, I'm like, okay, maybe my live well was messing up or something. So I turned the live well off and I still heard it. I'm like, what the heck is that running? And uh, sure enough, I come down here and this, um, my bilge pump was just running nonstop. Uh, I disconnected the, the float switch and well, at first I, I opened it up and then I, you know, lifted the flow switch up and down a couple times and make, make sure it wasn't stuck or something like that. But so that didn't work. So I unplugged the, the float switch and the, it cut off. But I also do have an auxiliary switch, which I can operate it manually on my dash. So I can still kick it on. That's why I, I just left it open here so that, uh, you know, I can keep an eye. If it does get water in there, I can turn it on to pump the water out. So... I don't want to have to keep doing that, so we are going to replace the float switch. And uh, hopefully it should be pretty simple. It's just two wires, and uh, I think it's just going to be three screws to, to pull out the... Everything's going to have to come out at once, because I don't think I can unscrew the float switch from the bracket the way it's positioned now. All I have is this like little hole. I can reach one arm in there at a time. I can't... So there's not a whole lot of space. Um, I'll try to get as much video as I can uh, so you guys can kind of see what's going on. But we are going to switch this out, and so wish us luck. All right, guys. See, there's a screw in the back, two screws up here in the front. But uh, there's one little screw right behind the float switch. I think if I can get that off, I can just pull the float switch out by itself. So we are going to try that first. Let's see how that goes. Sweet. Uh, that worked. See, it just held on by uh, uh, one screw over here just kind of holds it in place. And then the other screw is what actually holds it down. So I just had this Velcroed up so that the wires wouldn't hang down. And see, I just had this uh, Velcroed up where the, the wires connect to this other piece here because that is you know got 12 volt going to it all the time because it's it's connected directly to the battery so they're all supposed to be connected directly to the battery so in case something happens these will always kick on and it's not controlled by a switch the bilge pump and the float switch are supposed to be connected directly to the battery and in case you're installing one or if someone's put one in and it's not installed directly to the battery but uh we're gonna have to swap some ends out here and uh hopefully it'll be a pretty easy install back in fingers crossed you know it's hard working in there especially trying to film it it's not a very big space i almost want to make a bigger opening and uh, put another hatch in there but uh that's what we got so let's go swap this out see if we can get it back in all right guys here we got the new one and the old one as you can see this one has a, a plug on it that'll attach back in there and these are bare wires so we just got to switch this over to this one and i'll show you how we do that real quick and then put this one back in and this is the rulematic float switch series 35a and just in case uh you want to know which one i was using and i'll leave it linked in the description here below but basically i'm just going to cut this one off um solder it back with these uh uh, sweet little uh, soldering connections and it's it's super easy all right so 
we're just going to put this protective coating on it so the um, the wires don't wear while we're down there. Just put it right back on. It's just split in half and we feed the wires through. There we go. And there's really no positive or negative to this because it's basically just an on-off switch. All right, so we're just gonna strip some wires off. So these are pretty cool. You just slip these on, kind of bugger these up a little bit and you just marry them together like that. Twist them a, a little smidget. So the wires are connected together and then it's gonna heat it up. We got a little propane torch here. This is the little heat shrink. Slide this one over. Twist these together. Shrink those together and just let those cool for a little bit. And I always just extra precaution wrap them up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go plug this in, make sure this is what's working and this is what's causing the problem. All right, the other end of the plug is down here, so I'm just going to plug it in. It's a waterproof plug. All right, it's all the way in. And then here's the kicker. See, you hear it kick on? Shut off on so yep that did it so i can hear it kick on when i lift this up and shut it off so we know this is what's the problem all right now the hard part is going to be getting that screw back on. In place. It's not making it easy on me. I can't really see what I'm doing. I think I got it. It wasn't easy, but I got it uh, screwed back down. It's a tight fit, but you can get it there. And so the last thing we have to do is we're gonna take these wires that I got Velcroed up out of the way, and we're just gonna zip tie them. See over there where there's a zip tie hanging off that hose. We're just gonna zip tie it to that hose over there and call this good. Well, I just got the zip tied up out of the way, so it's all set. Test it. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up that mess. Um, if you found this useful, you know, leave it in the comments below. Let me know, and I'll do more of these videos uh, as I have repairs. I think I might have to switch out the shaft on my trolling motor, so I may do a video on that here soon. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. And, uh, you know, if you want to follow all of our fishing adventures and repairs and all that mess, uh, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, let you know when all our videos come out. And once again, guys, 
Thanks for following along. And until we see you next time, guys, stay salty.